Galvin, thanks for talking to us. Thanks for joining us. We spoke with the manager. He's totally frustrated. How are you? Yeah, I mean, it was a frustrating end to the game. Um, we dealt with what they they uh, thrown at us the whole game and switched off last minute, really, and then got punished. Um, it was a tough, tough, tough outing, but we've got to keep, we've got to move, we've got to keep being positive and taking each game as it comes. Was the game exactly pl played out as, as you thought it would be for Sutton or was there more direct stuff? No, definitely. We worked a lot uh, in the week on how they were going to play and they played exactly how we thought they were. Um, obviously, it's they're good at what they do. Um, but I thought, thought we stood up to a, the challenge and, and really stopped them, limited chances for them um, other than the goal that they scored. It was a whistle-happy referee. You have to be careful what you say about that. But unfortunately, probably Ron McDonald just mistimed his challenge, and that that didn't help the cause, did it? Going down to ten men. No, it didn't help going down to ten men. But we we should be rolling our sleeves up and, and digging in with ten men and seeing the game out. To be honest, uh, can't really blame Rod for, for obviously not winning the game because he, he saved us many a times this yeah. season, and he's, he's had a really really good season. To be fair, um, so yeah, I mean you can't point point fingers at Rod. I don't think and and say it was his fault why we why we didn't see it out. I think we just got to see it out as we are, and we didn't. Not, not talking too much about the referee, but didn't it make it difficult for both sets of players because you didn't know what decisions were coming, or you probably didn't know what decisions were coming, in terms of every time there was any sort of a challenge, it was a free kick. Yeah, I mean, they were experienced, experienced side, and you can see that the way they, especially first half, they ref the game, they ref, they ref the game um, even though I, I thought the ref was OK. Um, speaking to him and really good communication with him um, but unfortunately he enjoyed his whistle a bit too much today I think and um, it's shown that with the amount of free kicks and stuff that, that they got but we've, we, we can't be given chance for the free kicks to, to come I think we've, we've got to do better and, and stop being naive giving them what they want and, and giving the free kicks Obviously, six games unbeaten, but there are too many draws, and I think you've all spoke about that as well. But it, it, it still must be still a decent feeling that you know you, you're, you've become that hard team to beat as well. Definitely, yeah. I and mean, obviously, we're, we're, we're looking like we're going to score goals, especially today. I thought we had quite a few chances, um, and at the same time, the, the defensive record has been it's been pretty good, really. Um, we are we are tough to beat, and. We're doing a lot of that in training and working as units. It's not just the defenders, it's, it comes from the front and everybody's putting a shift in and, and really working hard to try and stop the goals. Well, you've come back and got your full 90 minutes and I think there was a little bit of a worry, a little bit of concern that it might have been a, a longer term injury that you didn't want. So you've obviously worked hard and everything's gone well for you, has it? Yeah, definitely. I'm absolutely thrilled to, to obviously still be playing uh, towards the end of the season. Um, I did think... The worst, and I couldn't walk two weeks ago, and it's just been it's been so up and down and stressful, um, on and off the pitch really. Um, I've just been trying to support the team as best I can and and help the lads as best I can, and hopefully I can do more of that now, especially when I'm on the pitch. What's been, what's what was the you know diagnosis and what's been the treatment and it's touch would put you right. Well, I've just had to do a lot of strengthening um, around the around the knee, to be honest. Um, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but I didn't feel a thing today and I think that's how hard I've had to work to, to get to that uh, stage and it's just just keep keep on staying on top of the strength um, and then hopefully I stay fit.